As if the current surges weren't bad enough, some are worried about the impact two variants, mutations in the coronavirus, could have. This is a raging inferno across many parts of the world still. Across the country, doctors like Ben Singer are fighting fatigue as more and more patients come in. First, there's the UK variant, B117. We've heard a lot about it in the recent weeks. So far, health officials have documented more than 70 cases in 11 states. It's not more deadly, but it is more contagious. The numbers aren't impressive so far. Dr. John Hammer says the so far is the big thing here. Colorado, where he and I are at, has only recorded three cases of the UK variant, but he says it's still concerning because any uptick in cases is usually followed with more hospitalizations and then deaths. We might see uh, further surges in areas where we're currently not seeing them. We could see uh, current places that are already overwhelmed. The second variant, E484K is also being called the South African variant. It hasn't shown up in the U.S. yet, but has popped up in at least 12 countries. Researchers found E484K makes it harder for some antibodies to neutralize the virus, meaning there's a chance it could escape the new COVID vaccines. That's being studied right now. It's important to test new variants to see how they stand against the vaccine, how they stand against monoclonal antibodies. But when it comes to a vaccine, it's very hard for a virus to evade a vaccine. It's not something that happens overnight. It's hard to know for sure how much of these variants could be circulating. Scientists and doctors expect it to be more widespread than what's been documented so far. Are you seeing any cases of these new variants at Northwestern? We don't know because we don't have a coordinated national uh, way to understand how uh, widely circulating these variants are, uh, so, so I can't say for sure. Biggest change, there's not much to worry about right now with these new variants because it doesn't change the care someone sick with COVID will get. For Newsy, I'm Lindsay Thies.